Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different World YouTube channel. I hope you all out there are having a wonderful day like you girl. And if not, manifest, plan, and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you all it is surely coming to you guys for sure. And if this is your first, second, third time or more to my YouTube channel, welcome. Happy to have you guys. Before you leave, definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Different World and you come and learn what's going on with your girl. And speaking of coming and learning, I'm an author, motivation speaker, travel influencer, and CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain you guys all at once. So again, first, second, third time, or more, it don't matter. Just hit that subscribe button for your girl, yeah? All right, you guys, so today is Tuesday. We're ending, almost uh, done with the month of June. Man, it's going by so fast, you guys, 2023. Um, but we're going to still try through and still get it and still end it out on a strong note. So with that being said, on Tuesdays, you guys know we do our social awareness content. And with this one, we are going to be um, raising awareness on PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder uh, and what it is and uh, how it affects somebody and how it can affect one person or somebody you know or love. Um, getting right into it. Uh, like I said, PTSD stands for post-traumatic stress uh, disorder, and it comes from, uh, it can stem from an event or a traumatic event that had occurred in somebody's life um, over either it can happen within their childhood, their, their, throughout their teenage years and adulthood. Um, oftentimes when people hear PTSD, they think of uh, a war veteran or a person that's been in war and they come home and you hear these stories of having PTSD you, are here, you normally hear these stories with these uh, soldiers who come home from war and they have you know, post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, I found online some interesting facts about uh, PTSD and note that it's not just, it doesn't just affect one certain group. As a matter of fact, I found five interesting facts. Uh, six out of 100 U.S. adults will experience uh, PTSD in their lifetime. Um, the conditions aren't limited, so with PTSD, a person can experience flashbacks, nightmares, distress from the memory. Um, they can also, uh, or caregivers can also deploy uh, PTSD symptoms, or they can trigger PTSD if somebody was in an abusive relationship prior to meeting that caregiver or was in an abusive relationship that caregiver has to be careful not to do something or a certain trigger that may upset that person and cause PTSD or a flashback for them causing PTSD. So as well as, um, like I said, not everybody um, gets PTSD that has suffered a traumatic experience or event in their life. So um, that's why they call it, they say it's six out of a hundred. As well as symptoms aren't limited um, and they don't, Excuse me, sorry, symptoms don't start. Okay. Okay. Lastly, I found that symptoms don't start right away, even after the event. It usually happens down the line uh, through maybe like a trigger or something somebody done or said that triggers a chain line of events and causes a person to remember that traumatic event. And that is where, you know, PTSD can take place and it can grow. Uh, as well as it doesn't just affect one group, it, it can affect everybody or anybody from children, uh, adults to elderly to veterans to civilians, um, men, women, you know, black, white, PTSD doesn't discriminate. And so for everybody out there that may be suffering and going through it, I too have, you know, suffered PTSD uh, through some events that I've gone through in my life. I'm not going to get into too many details. You guys can hear my story. Uh, you can imagine <laughs> what type of PTSD that has brought on for me. Um, so, uh, for those out there that are suffering with PTSD, I again encourage you all and uh, advocate heavily the importance of keeping your mental health in check and uh, maintaining your mental health as well. And so, uh, before I get off deep into the mental health check, we normally do that later on down the road, uh, check out this dope video I found uh, from Reese's Medicine, uh, talking about what is PTSD and doing a little bit more better explaining than I did. So let's get into the video, and once we come back, I'll talk a little bit more about what's going on in Different World. Yep, here it is. Post-traumatic stress disorder, more commonly known as PTSD, is a mental health condition 
that develops after being exposed to trauma. This trauma could be a wide range of things, well-known examples being violence, injury and death, like in a war, but also sexual assault, the threat of injury, natural disasters and childhood abuse are also examples. It is estimated that up to 80% of people will experience a traumatic event in their lives, and between 5 and 10% of these will go on to develop PTSD. The signs and symptoms are divided into categories, which ultimately also make up the criteria for the diagnosis. First is the stressor itself. This could either be directly to the patient or by witnessing the trauma, indirectly by having exposure to details of the event such as working in the police or hearing that the trauma has happened to a loved one. Then there are intrusive symptoms such as recurrent thoughts related to the trauma. These could be distressing nightmares, dissociative reactions such as flashbacks which can include a complete lack of awareness of surroundings. Also included here is intense distress on exposure to reminders including physical manifestations like tachycardia and hypertension. Then there is avoidance where people avoid stimuli related to the event or reminders such as people or places. Mood and cognitive alterations are common such as being unable to recall certain aspects, a distorted sense of self or cognition in which they blame themselves for the event, fear and guilt are also common, and anhedonia, which is a reduction in activities that were previously enjoyable. Other symptoms related to reactivity are common, including aggressive behaviour with little to no trigger, hypervigilance, difficulty in concentrating or sleeping, and reckless behaviour. Based on these, a diagnosis can be made according to the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual 5th edition. The criteria for the trauma must be met, and then there must be one or more intrusive symptoms, avoidance symptoms, two or more for negative alteration in mood, and two or more in alterations in arousal and reactivity. Additionally, it must also have lasted for more than one month. It must cause impairment in functioning in social, school or occupational life and it cannot be due to substances or another medical condition. In cases where the symptoms are present and have lasted less than one month, it is defined as an acute stress disorder. There is also complex PTSD, which is mostly seen in patients exposed to prolonged trauma and in addition to the symptoms of PTSD, they also experience emotional dysregulation and a more disturbed sense of identity. The exact reason this happens is not clear. However, changes in neurotransmitters and hormones are thought to cause the symptoms. In particular, disturbances in the hypothalamic pituitary axis and adrenergic systems. Normally, corticotropin releasing hormone is released from the hypothalamus, which travels to the anterior pituitary and causes release of adrenocorticotropic hormone, or ACTH. This then causes release of cortisol from the adrenal glands that goes on to act systemically. Cortisol then suppresses CRH and ACTH levels via negative feedback. In PTSD, however, cortisol levels are low while CRH levels remain high. The high CRH levels stimulate noradrenaline, giving an increased sympathetic nervous system response, the system typically engaged in fight or flight reactions. This can manifest as tachycardia, hypertension, an increased startle response and increased arousal. Some studies also report a reduction in GABA activity, and an increase in glutamate activity, which have both been linked to dissociation and derealization. The risk of developing PTSD seems to be higher in females, in people with pre-existing mental illnesses like anxiety or depression, childhood adversities or a lack of social support. The type and severity of the trauma 
also plays a role, with assault-based traumas rather than non-assault traumas like natural disasters being more likely to cause PTSD. It is estimated that 22% of war-related trauma survivors develop PTSD and 19% of rape victims. It can also develop as a result of life-threatening illness such as after an admission to the intensive care unit or a diagnosis of cancer. We mentioned indirect or secondary trauma, where people are not directly exposed to the trauma themselves. Healthcare workers are frequently exposed to secondary trauma and are at the highest risk. PTSD itself can also predispose to other conditions like substance abuse. The first line therapy is psychotherapy, including cognitive behavioral therapy, which has been shown to be effective in between 60 and 80% of cases. It is a way of helping to adjust negative thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that prevent patients from enjoying a good quality of life. Eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, known as EMDR, is another option involving moving the eyes alongside audio tones to stimulate the brain which helps process debilitating and traumatic memories. Medications are also useful, including antidepressants and anxiolytics, although have not been shown to be more effective than psychotherapy. Options include selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors like paroxetine and sertraline, or serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors like venlafaxine as first line. Clonidine is an alpha agonist used in reducing trauma-related nightmares, and trazodone or promethazine are options for insomnia. Some studies have also shown a better outcome in patients if antipsychotics like risperidone are added to the antidepressant therapy. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that informative video about PTSD and it's a more in-depth explanation about PTSD from Reese's Medicine. Be sure to check them out. I've dropped their information below in the description. Uh, as you guys seen, like I said, it talked about uh, PTSD and the symptoms of it and what normally causes PTSD and how one can keep PTSD in check. You can't cure it, but there are treatments including therapy and medicine. So again, I encourage anybody out there that may be going through, you know, experiencing PTSD to again, do whatever you have to do to keep your mental health in check, whether that means, you know, treating your PTSD with therapy or, you know, psychological medicine for that. Do whatever it is that you have to to keep your PTSD in check and not letting your PTSD check you, yeah? And so with that being said, you guys, um, I hope you enjoy my uh, little clip and social awareness on PTSD for the month of June, uh, as well as, the, the, I'm sorry, I should have noted that in the beginning of the video, uh, June is also PTSD awareness, so that again is why we're doing uh, social awareness vlog on PTSD on Social Awareness Day. Uh, so again, uh, everybody out there, make sure you choke your, check your choke, <laughs> excuse me, down, uh, check your local listings uh, in regards to, again, finding the best resources for you that when it, in regards to PTSD and if anybody out there that's going through this situation or experiencing the symptoms and, you know, like to talk about it, I'm here, you know, feel free to, you know, leave a comment below and interact with me as I would definitely love to interact with you guys. Uh, be sure to show me that you guys also enjoyed this video by, video by liking, sharing, commenting, and definitely you guys subscribing. Hit that subscribe button for your girl while you do when I'm talking about it right now. Also, don't forget, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and check out my, all of my other social media handles, including my Instagram, Twitter, and et cetera, et cetera, uh, as well as for anybody out there looking for motivational speakers, anybody looking to do collaborations with their podcast, or any grassroots conversationalist, you can get at your girl on my website and book me. I am free of charge as of now, as well as my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift? is available now on my website, again, differencewall.net. 
And remember that this book was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So again, be advised that this is intended for a mature audience. It has sensitive content. And so if you can't think this type of heat, still come on to the kitchen. Just get you a little fire blanket. You'll be okay. That's the point of it all, you guys, is to have these conversations that need to be had that are often swept under the rug and people like to turn a blind eye to. We push that envelope and push that button to get you to talk and not just to rub you the wrong way, but to talk about conversations that leads to unity, talking about accountability and ultimately systemic change. And so that's what this is about. So again, go to my website and get your copy of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. Again, you guys, I truly appreciate all the love and support that I'm getting. Please keep it coming and don't stop. Moving right along with a different train. What else we got going on, you guys? Tomorrow's Wednesday. And so you guys know on Wednesdays we normally do our podcast collaborations. And so I'm looking forward to dropping this one. Um, We just had our Juneteenth this past Monday. And so I did a dope interview with the lovely host. Uh, of a black to black talk show and so I'll be looking uh, forward to dropping that with you guys so again hit that notification bell so when I drop content you guys come into different world and you come and learn what's going on with your girl yeah alright you guys let's keep it moving right along what else we got going on in different world we have our mental health check right now so again anybody out there that is experiencing any type of mental anguish stress or illness including PTSD uh, feeling depression, suicidal thoughts, anxiety attacks, even dealing with bullying or rehab, relapse, excuse me, please know that it is okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help. Go do whatever it is that you have to do that keeps your mental health in check and keep you from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you, albeit talking with a therapist, family member, a friend, picking up a hobby, mending broken bridges, cutting people off getting on medication, whatever it is that you have to do to keep your mental health in check, do it. If you know anybody or if you yourself need these mental health resources I'm about to share with you, please feel free to share. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741. And for those that would prefer to go online, you guys can check out mentalhealthishealth.us or you can visit 988lifeline.org as well as those that are outside of the U.S. you guys can check out incounseling.com again incounseling is spelled e-n-c-o-u-n-s-c-l-i-n-g.com and remember you guys although I am giving you these mental health resources at the end of the day it's on you to do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you because you are the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters nobody else as well as I want you guys to remember whatever trial and tribulations that you guys are going through at this time in your life This too shall pass and you will get through it. So going off the deep end is not an option. It's not worth it. So don't do it. Okay? So we close out of our mental health check. Be sure to keep do whatever it is that you have to to keep your mental health in check and maintain your mental health. Okay? Um, Moving right along, you guys, and bringing it back to the positive bonds for the close out with this vlog. Again, I hope you guys enjoy... um, my topic today on, on post-traumatic stress disorder and bringing awareness to it uh, with the issue. Again, if you guys enjoy, show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Again, hit that subscribe button for your girl and that notification bell. So again, when I drop the content, you guys come into different world and you come and learn what's going on. As well as you guys, don't forget whatever uh, you guys are feeling you are destined for in life. You have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and it will surely come to you guys. Difference will come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift 
It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author different. Go to differenceworld.net.